call you praise. If you call you or not, you call you this morning. Most of you are mighty and can praise Him. Oh, you are the Almighty God. We know to our problem, the east, the west, the north, the south, wherever you come from, there's a long walk. We are thankful to be here today, one for the day, last Sunday, and the month of the last month of the year. These things are viable, and these things will happen in life. But nevertheless, we still trust in our God. As I be always a trust in the Lord with what? Be not unto thy own understanding, but in all thy way of fellowship. And he will what? Direct. He will be the first day to go out. We only have one hour, one hour and a half. Or we have half an hour with an hour. One hour to the key. Same thing. So we are thankful to God. Please God um, for, for, for having our listen to us this morning, different types of for the mighty family and all the uh, mother beings and all of us. We thank God. Sister Porta to and Sister Porta and um Odia for the work of um and we have um let me your name again what? Mr. Franco, Brother Franco. Thank you, Lord. So as we are about to begin our service this morning, we invite the spirit of God to worship with us this morning so that we can be able to do all things with your hand as well as God. We are going to begin by singing hymn number 201 in our hymn, in our hymn, in our hymn book, hymn number 201. Oh, for a heart to praise my God. A heart from sin set free. He had that uh, the sprinkle with the blood so freely shed for me. He had resigned his submissive meek. I dare it be my own. The only Christ is so to speak. That Jesus made the Lord. So we know a stand and sing with our heart of God this morning. Oh, for a heart to praise my God, my he had from sin to be. Oh, for Yeah. 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 
situation because we need to really worship God in the beauty of holiness. I am extremely happy this morning and I think uh, the honor of the service, uh, uh, of course we know our service, uh, the fourth Sunday is normally the youth service, so I uh, was thinking that as how God leads the service today, but I have uh, prior some guests with me this morning. I just want to introduce them, a reader, uh, just a short, well-known uh, piece of scripture. And then we open up to just um, testimony before I ask my guests to come and minister to us this morning. I want to introduce them. Well, to me, they are no strangers to me, but to some of us, we, we have a uh, wonderful ladies in my life, I must say. We have Sister Rosie, who should be no stranger to uh, St. Bernard. She was baptized in St. Bernard. And um, uh, I believe she's returning down today because when she called from away, she told me, anytime I'm in Trinidad, I want to come and worship with you. And she had made it through the home. And not only that, she is here with her. Uh, Two of her daughters, and um, I'm extremely say so don't can is going to put you on the spot, but I need to do that. That's my spiritual daughter. I was able to, to immerse her under the symbol wheel, as we say. She received baptism, and then I was able to officiate in a marriage ceremony. And not only that, uh, God would have blessed her that I I'll always tell this story, you know. When I, I, I went to the hospital to see my first grandson, uh, one of the sisters called it, that's the Bible, can this have twin? So what a blesser that um, uh, uh, she gave herself to the Lord. She was duly married and she had twin. And they are so nice, so cute, they bless her. I always tell the, the grandson, I say, you're the prince, you know, and you have two princesses born the same day. We give God praise. And of course we have, uh, Sister Tasha, who grew up in St. Martin, she was Mother Hamlet's, you have to say Mother Hamlet's daughter. Although she's Mother Hamlet's husband, niece, but this Mother Hamlet's daughter, they grew under that fellowship. And God have blessed her, and I always say that there, there, there was a miracle performed in her life. That was in 2005, whilst I was there, we had an anniversary of the police association, and God moved mightily. She had just came out from her operation that same week, and uh, God used his spirit that one of the uh, senior officers, I, I didn't know that 
uh, well not to use every anyone Amen. but in that anointing god really take this child's life Amen. and so what would have uh, 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 in other words when she comes to us she will be able to tell us more about that because god is really a rewarder who does who diligently worship him Amen. and i believe they have come to turn tongues to me and i was telling them coming on like i said oh, i you know, we the junior dead to, to, to come to get dance. But anyway, it's what they do. God moves in mysterious way and his wonders to perform. So I just like to read a, a short you will confine itself to, to this message. And uh this is short sound. And this is a psalm that everyone ought to know, and then we will be house for two testimony, and then I'll caution you to the altar. We look at a time and we have our 90 minutes and more or less uh not giving you time, but we move within time. What is going on within 15 to 20 minutes to so have a proper message? So, Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He, when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. May God have a blessing by the glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and I never shall be. Now, hopefully, also a few testimonies. Somebody will have something to say during the course of the week, as the case might be, and then we'll testimony or song, and then we'll usher in our song. Second, good morning. Second, good morning. Pastor, Reverend, congregation, Reverend, Sister, the Lord. I'm going to sing a song. Mm -hmm. I love you, Lord. For oh, your mercy never fails me all my days i've been held in your hand Hallelujah. from the moment that i wake up until i lay my head i will sing of the goodness of god and all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am made, Lord, I will sing of the goodness of God. I know your voice. You have led me through the fire in darkest night. You are close like no other. I know you as a father. I know you as a friend. And I have played in the goodness of God. Yeah. And all my life you have been faithful, so, so faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every prayer that I am made, Lord, I will sing of the goodness of God. 
Get the 
children. That is before children. I am sure there was a few brooks around there, but he wanted to make sure he hired himself by the right brook. Let me tell you something, people. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the river to feed thee there. There are times God allow people to bless us, allow people to help us, but you know what? You don't like the person who God said, because you want your brother, you want your sister. Let me tell you, God can use a homeless person. He can use anybody, but so many times, if the person they look right, we don't want to even let them touch us. God allow a river to feed him. But there was a time that he broke dry up. She only had enough. 
that shall separate and die. And Elisha said in verses 13, I'm continuing. And Elisha said unto her, Fear not, go unto us, thou hast said, but make me give for a little cake first and bring it unto me. And after that, make it for me and for my son. And thou said, The Lord God of Israel, the barrel of meal shall not waste. Neither shall the proof of all fail until the day that the Lord sent it rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Elisha. And she and he and the whole house did eat for many days. Did eat for many days. She only had enough that her and separate and die. But they eat for many days after that. Many days. Lord, I only had cricks. I only had water. Let me tell you, yes, I used to take my crooks and imagine a school place. God is good. You soak your crooks and your milk and you say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You only have rice, steam the rice and thank you, Lord. I bless your name. Some people have nothing. Nothing. But God continue to provide. They have for many days. I want to go right down to verse 17. Nothing wasted and they had it in the barrel for many days because the woman was obedient. I'm coming up. And it came to pass, verse 17, it came to pass after these things that the son of the woman, the mistress of the house, fell sick. And his sickness was so sore that there was no bread left in it. So we know if there's no bread left in you, which means you die. And she said unto Elisha, what am I to do with thee? O thou man of God, and don't come unto me to call my sins to remembrance and to slay my son. And he said unto her, give me thy son. And he took him out of her bosom and carried him up into the loaf where he abode and laid him upon his bed. And he cried unto the woman and said, O Lord my God, hast thou also brought evil with a woman and whom I sojourn by slaying a son. Elijah is asking God a question. Why did you do this to this woman? You sent me here and she did what you say. But listen to me, we're coming down. And he cried unto the Lord. I'm reading it again, verses 20. And said, oh Lord my God, has thou also brought evil upon this with a woman whom I sojourn by slaying a son? And he stretched himself upon child three times and cried unto the Lord and said oh Lord, oh Lord my God I pray thee let this child so come into him again and the Lord heard the voice of Elijah just as he hears us every day the Lord heard the voice of Elijah and the soul of the child came into him again and he revived and Elijah took the child and brought him down out of the chamber into the house and delivered mother and Elisha said see thy son liveth but I want you to pay attention to this last verse verses 24 and the woman said to Elisha and the woman said to Elisha listen to me and the woman said to Elisha not by this now by this the Lord I love you talk for many days sometimes God keep doing and doing and doing and you still don't understand that he love you but because of this when when he allowed but because the child gets sick and the child dies, you know what she said? Now by this, now by this, I know that thou art a man of God and that the word of the Lord in thy mouth is truth. What does God have to do for you again for you to understand that God loves you? What does he have to do for you again for you to know that he loves you just as you are? She said, now by this, I know. I know. She didn't know before, know. but now by this, he do. He give us, he bless us, he provide. But now by this, one more thing. What is the this for you? Think about it. What is the now by this for you? God has been blessed. He has been provided. But she said, now by this, I know. Uh, and, and when she had enough to share, she said, teeth and die. She didn't know. Oh my God, he provide. He provide here Lord, what happened for many days. But it was fine then. But she said, now by this. So only yeah, after the son died, then she recognized, okay, okay, the Lord is with me. Now by this, I know that the Lord, God send you, God send you. There are times we take in this child to you. I want this child to tell me, this person, what kind of life, let me tell you, go 
want to tell a drunk to talk to you. He can tell a homeless man to talk to you. He can tell any religious person to talk to you. Now, by this, she knew that God was with her. God continued to bless us. God continued to keep us. He continued to keep us. As I said, Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you want. God is good. I bless God for his word today. I thank God for using us. I thank God for his anointing. I thank God for his love. I thank God for his grace and his mercy. I thank God for every heart in here today. Because God knows everybody's situation today. He knows what we have need of even before we ask. That is the God that we serve. So while you prepare things, you already put things in place for you. Because the God that we serve knows exactly what we have need of even before we ask. That is the kind of God that we serve. He knows everything. You don't know what you need tomorrow. But he already knows. He already I'm going to end with this song, Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you want right now. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line. And 
I, 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 let me, what, what, what's coming through my mind? Let me talk something like that may sound confusing or outer, outer sync, but I, I want to bring it in. It's because of good upbringing from Mother Hamlet and, yeah. from, and, and, and probably I, I, I want to put myself in, yes, in yes, it too. Yeah. Being a good shepherd, and that's what we read, you know. You know, you have some, some shepherd like a beat up on the sheep. You know what I mean? In this case, uh, uh, they said that they're not a good shepherd. That wicked hire. They, they, they went, when they see the wolves coming, they, they won't even make an alarm. But I thank God, as a good shepherd, I, I want to bring myself in that thing. We haven't beat up on the sheep, but we have to take good care of the sheep so that God could give you a good rendition so that wherever you go, you'll be able to speak the name. Take the name of Jesus with you, child of sorrow and of oil, joy and comfort. If you take it wherever you so I feel great that uh, you, uh, when it, it was Rosie, uh, herself, Sister Rosie, Joseph, who said that when she comes, she come in here to church. So I go there, you are fulfill that appointment. And so God is going to richly bless you all. And not only that, it's going to bless the whole family, the whole church, and everybody. I I, I, I am overwhelmed this morning, so I just want to uh, hand back this to Mr. Uh, 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 our beloved senior minister so that we will close up everything. I think I will be satisfied. Glory, hallelujah. I will be satisfied. Oh, yes, God. Listen to the preachers on the TV, and one of them will not say this morning. Give God praise. Praise him with your hands. When you get up in the morning and you open your wallet and you say, I have nothing in it to carry it to, still praise God. You're not feeling so well, praise him. Listen. The amount of things that are happening now, many of us asking ourselves, what is going on? Police shooting army man, army man shooting police, man killing sister, and the brother in law, and each other, and every day you have murders here, there, and everything. But we still trust in God. We are going to trust God, let's have a right go, whatever we go, whatever we do, trust in the Lord. My soul say yes, yes, my soul say yes.
Still trusting God. Put your trust in God. I am not telling you something I experienced. I was in the world, but the world didn't want me. Jesus wanted me. And when I found him, then I know I wasn't wasting my time. Your beaten fan here, there, and everywhere. Your clothes are doing everything. But when I find Jesus, you find something new. My God is really good. This is the way sometimes you book you book dry up. And it's only after then you get to know who God is. He said, What? Now I know. Now I know. Now I know. Thank you for the word. She didn't know all the time. But now I know that there is a God. That's the message. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. It's your God. Yeah. This is us. I don't get people arguing at the world. Go after the world. Discuss the world. If you find someone going outside, discuss the world. I didn't know, I know that I God you know, but I thought that God would give me everything materially, but I didn't know that that God was a God that could do everything. And when the book dry up, and when that woman could realize who God is, he cried out, I know, I know that my God is alive. My God is alive. He not want me alive when you could buy a car. <laughs> oh, no. He not only alive when you could buy a house, yeah. but God is still alive when you want to child come. Yeah. Yeah. As I was telling them some time ago, to take a pot of water in the meeting, to take a pot of water and you boil it hot, hot, hot.
Hanya putar egin dan wata. Wata itu dah okey. Dia tak. Tak kena tak ada yang tu bici yang pulau itu boleh. Hanya tidak siap wata. Hanya putar kopi tu, ini punya kopi tu. Wata itu dah kopi tu. Get so so so. So sometimes the same child that make you hard could make you tall. So we had to do God praise in the morning, give him in the evening, give him in the night. When oh, things are right, you give God praise. And when God things are not so right, you give God thanks because He is still alive. God is not dead; He is alive, and if God is alive, He will stay alive. God was born yesterday. Is today and even forever. God yesterday, today and forever. Trust in the Lord, my people. Yes. When you are going back, when you are facing, when you are young men, put God in front. Amen. And you are going to see the God in front. Mighty God. We thank God today. Let us pray. Praise the Lord for His kindness, for His mercy, for His love. We have a little time. All right, let's go for it. We are brother Mike. We're going to sing him number one fifty nine. And then we go to our prayer. Jesus, my strength, my hope. On thee I cast my care. With comfort, confident, look out. I know the whole spirit. Give me and thee to wait the line that all things do. And thee, Almighty Supreme, Almighty Supreme. In number 139, Jesus, my strength, my hope. Jesus, my strength, my hope.
Thank you for all those who gather here, there, and everywhere. We thank you for those who know you. And we praise God for you for trying to who we have been seeking daily to get to know you. Take everything in your child. Your care and your father is keeping. Bless those who mighty God who are gather with us today. Lord, Father, you know their hearts, you know their minds. From day one, they have been serving you up to this present time. Give them what they need, what they want, Almighty oh, God. Those who belong to this service, Almighty oh, God, bless them. Those who belong to this church, bless them, keep them, God, and God. Bless them, bless them, bless them, oh God, bless in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, it's Peter today. Lord, she can't go without you. I ain't talking about physical, I'm talking about spiritual. Lord, can I, when we are around, all she has. There is a spiritual hand that she has. Lead her into the right path. Lord. Right up. Ah, oh, Lord God. Jesus. Father, you know the mind of the sister. Yes, you know how she walk. Yes, and you know how she can yes. Yes, You know, We are talking, Lord God, Jehovah, we are talking Mama here. We are talking about spiritual upliftment. Yes. And uplift us spiritually yes, that you'll be able to walk with that talk, Lord. Oh, Lord. Lord, as we are about to leave, Lord, hold us. Lord. You came with us, you drive with us, you walk with us, you talk with us. 
He was not alone. The spirit of God can comfort. Comfort us in all the, the mother, oh Lord, all the pastors, your Jamaica family, all the gathered here. Be thank you for them. Lord, that's not my prayer going daily. But I know you get an answer prayer. And I know my prayer will go daily. Because I know you are going to answer yesterday to the emperor. Hear us, hear us, hear us, hear us in the name of the Father. Son and Holy Spirit. We need an order of blessing that we pray for the from the prayer. Amen. Now we say a grace of all and before we close down, we have two important things I want to say. I want to say that um, we are accustomed to picking up our widow's fund. Every Christmas time, I don't want to go away. Not that they won't pass, but they still want us to give something. Um, Mother, um, the first master school is our students, and then we have a um, church that we bring um, from today, and we want to pick up something for them. I think it's one, one better number three. Yeah, thank God. So we know what the announcement and we will do it according to God. Okay, Reverend. Let me just do this quickly. So this is just two things. We have the gift service this afternoon at Long Bethel number three. And um, so what we would do now is, brother, I'll just ask Brother Ketron to just get the right to sell phone has it. And we will take up a contribution for the gift service. Yeah. The um, love offering, anybody who wants to give, just meet Sister Ford or myself and you can give. And that's for today. Okay, um, the Mission General Meeting takes place on Saturday, the 11th of December. That's the second Saturday of this month. And that takes place right here starting at 9 a.m. At which time also we will be, we are supposed to be having the election of a new superintendent. So that's the announcement for today. God bless you. Thank you. We probably have um uh either Kosha or Crystal to give the Christy to just um announce to say thanks to those who are joining us on Zoom. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 A pleasant. A pleasant good morning to everyone. Uh, we say thank you to each and everyone that came out today. We thank God for the service. We thank God for being our midst. And to our visitors, we thank you for joining us. We pray that you are blessed. And we pray that you will walk away with something that bless your heart today. Uh, we also want to say thank you to all of our viewers on Zoom. Sister Alana, who is always regular with us. We thank you for joining us. Sister King. Sister Beverly, Sister Gracie, Kester, Mother Kester, uh, Sister Rady, and Sister Phyllis. Uh, we, my aunt was also on as well, Sister Janice Richardson, she came up. But we want to say thank you to each and every one who keeps joining with us each and every week. And we pray that you will just continue to be blessed and you'll join us once more next week. Please go in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Is that all you came to for the today? Wow, thanks.
Lord, we ask you to keep the Lord in the sign of the Lord, you're so responsible for the Lord, you're so responsible for the Lord. Lord, you're so responsible for the Lord. 